going to do the waypoints with the Mavic. So what that is, you're flying the aircraft, you're recording a waypoint. Uh, once you've recorded all your waypoints, you save it as a mission, you upload it to the aircraft and then it, the aircraft will fly that mission that you just did. So when you're thinking about it, uh, when you're recording each waypoint, you want to think about your location, your height and the heading of the aircraft. The heading of the aircraft is crucial for the option of consistent with record. So there are three options in regard to your aircraft's heading when you fly your mission. So first one is consistent with record. Um, so whenever you record a waypoint, you've got to make sure that the heading that you record at that waypoint is what you want in your mission, okay? I'll talk about this a bit more when we get into it. Uh, consistent with route, that's the other option, uh, and free mode. So I'm gonna start, I'll record a few waypoints and I'll show you the difference. And it's pretty simple. Um, and then I'll give you a few tips uh, to why you'd use waypoints, okay? What I'm going to do is, you want to think about what you want to, your, your mission, you kind of plan it a little bit. But essentially what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fly around this um, rock here and pretty much keep myself in the frame. So, I'm just going to go out a little bit more. And I want that to be my first waypoint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the modes, click on waypoints, and start recording new waypoints. There's a new mission, and you can see the options are there. So at the moment, I have zero waypoints. I'm going to, I want that to be my first one, so I'm going to record there. Press record. You cannot see it waypoint, because um, I took off from a cliff, okay? Um, it's saying that my height is only 7.7 meters. So let's just disregard kind of the height in this case. Um, I really should have taken off from down there, but I couldn't be bothered. So I've, I've taken off, so I'm actually not really high, but I am high enough. Um, so I'm just gonna go up. Okay, I'm gonna record my waypoint there. That's just a warning, okay? So I'm just gonna disregard that. So you can see there, my waypoint one has been created. So that's my first waypoint. Now look at the heading of the aircraft, okay? Because this is going to come into effect when I use the option of consistent with record, okay? So what happens, I'm gonna come over here and I want this to be my new waypoint, my next waypoint. Now I don't want that to be my heading. I'm gonna bring the aircraft heading back around to here and I want that to be the heading when it gets to waypoint number two. And I'll record there. As you can see, number one and two, 26 meters in distance. Okay, so, and then I think the next one, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna fly over myself here. So I'm just gonna come and fly over here. And it's pretty good. And I want that to be the next heading, okay? So I'm just gonna click record, I like that. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna come out here I don't want that to be the heading and it takes from that waypoint to that waypoint. So I'm going to draw it back around to here. What that's going to do, and I click record, that's the heading that is recording. So what it's going to do is when it goes from 3 to 4, flies the mission from 3 to 4, it's going to change its heading to what it is recorded at number 4. Okay? So I'm just going to come down here. Waypoint. So I'm going to press record, and as you can see there, I've got one, two, three, four, five. So, and you can see on the right here, five waypoints, total distance of the mission is 204 meters. So, what do you do next? So if you go into the settings cogs, up the top right hand corner, this gives you the options for your waypoints. So it tells you the distance from your starting point, so it's 20 meters from waypoint five to one. Uh, and then your aircraft heading, this is what I was saying, is you've got the three options. Consistent with record, consistent with route, and free mode. So I'm going to do consistent with record first, and I'll show you. So what it's going to do is, I'm not going to have any your input. I'm just going to let the aircraft fly. So it's going to change its heading with regards to what was recorded at the waypoint. So, as for example, from 1 to 2, it's going to change its heading to what was recorded at number 2. The heading recorded at 2. 
When it gets to two, then it's going to turn to number three, but it's going to keep the heading that was at number three. So you'll get the idea for it. Uh, flight mission complete, I'm just going to use hover. You need to use hover or return to home. And then you've got your flight velocity, so I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to press apply. Then it tells you your current altitude and the return to home. Okay, so I'm going to press apply. It's going to upload it to the aircraft. And what it's doing now is it's flying to number one, as you can see, and it's going to start the mission. It's flying from number one to two, and it is keeping the heading that was recorded at number two. When it gets to two, it's going to come around to number three, and it's going to have the heading that was recorded at three. Okay, and when it gets to four, it's going to have the heading, it's going to change its heading to what was recorded at four. And remember, well, at number four, I pretty much did 180 degrees. So as you can see, it's slowly coming back around. Okay, slowly coming back around. And there you go. It's heading now is what was recorded at number four. When it gets to four, it's going to turn its heading around to what was recorded at number five. That's consistent with record. So obviously you can play around with that. That was a very quick mission, I didn't really plan it. So, and you can see it's climbing. So it's obviously, uh, you set the height as well um, as the location and the heading. So it just re reached the last point, so it just hovers there. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go into waypoints again. Because I just did one, I've got a save mission. That will pop up the waypoints, there you go. Go to the settings cog, and I'm going to now do consistent with route. And what this will do is, it's going to fly, if you don't put any your input in, so you don't put any input on the sticks, it's gonna fly from one to two, to three to four to five, with its aircraft heading facing towards each waypoint. So you'll see what I mean when I um, play it. Um, I'll press apply, okay, and apply, and it's gonna upload it to the aircraft to two. When it gets to two, the aircraft's heading is going to face around to three. Okay, and then when it gets to three, it will put its heading towards four. Okay, so with this one, you've got to kind of think about where and your placement of your waypoints. As you can see, with this one, it doesn't actually go to your waypoints. It does kind of cut them a bit short. So you've got to plan your mission a bit, okay? So that's with no your input, okay? That's just flying the mission um, with consistent with route. That was without putting your input in. I'm just gonna do that same uh, mission again, okay? So you can see there, consistent with route, apply and apply. With this one, this time, I'm gonna put a little bit of your input. And what it's gonna do is it changes the heading of the aircraft, and then it will consistently keep that heading when it goes to each waypoint. So, at the moment, it's going straight to one to two. I'm going to, oh, your it in a little bit. So I'm gonna your it into the center, and I'm gonna leave it now, because I've got no input. What it's gonna do is, when it gets to each waypoint, it's going to keep that heading that I just set. Pretty much you're setting the heading as you're flying along so you can change this whenever you want okay and the last one is free mode and like it suggests that the what it's called free mode you've got full control and it's not going to automatically um, change the aircraft heading between waypoints okay so I'll apply this I'll show you what I mean so apply it's uploading and so it's doing it so it's going to go from one to two to three to four um, and it's just going to fly the heading, um, it's not going to change it at all. So when it goes, to, I'm not putting any input in yet at the moment, but I can, but at the moment I'm not. So when it gets to two, to three, it's just going to stay on that heading. It's not going to automatically come around, okay? So you can see there. Now, say I put it around, I'm yawing it now to there, and it gets to three to four. Again, it's not going to change automatically, it's just going to keep at that heading. Okay, so I want it now to be there. So it's going to stay at that heading. So when it gets to four and going to five, aircraft's, I'm not putting any your input, it's not going to move. Okay, so it's completely free, um, there's no assistance. So